اطلب العلم اخي فهو درب به نور به ترقى به تحيا عالما حرا فخور اطلب العلم اخي فهو درب به نور به ترقى به تحيا عالما حرا فخور بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عباده الذين اصطفى وبعد A story of another great prophet and messenger and that's Shu'aib the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam describes him as khatibul anbiya he is the speech deliverer of the prophets and the messengers the prophet alaihi salatu wasallam he told abu bidar o oh, abu dhar for from the prophets are arab hud salih shu'aib and your prophet o oh, abu dhar some historians suggest that Musa alayhi salam had married his daughter. Now precisely whether it was this Shu'aib or it was another pious servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is a slight bit of difference of opinion. He lived in a town called Madian. They were known to be merchants, businessmen, very intelligent in terms of business. The people of Madian were very bad and wicked people. They were worshipping a tree called al Aika. They believe in the holiness of that tree and they used to prostrate and bow to that tree. The same people of Madian are also known as people of Aika. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had surrounded them with a lot of what trees. And the people of Madian, not only their faith was bad, but their actions were very bad. They were very well known to be wicked, evil doing people. And from their actions were, they used to be high robbers. They went on the path, people go and pass their town, they stop them, they take from them their goods and they take from them their money and they take from them their stock or whatever they have and they throw them out in the desert. But on top of that, the people of Shu'aib salam, they were cheaters. They used to say, this is for you, it weighs 10 pounds, I'll charge you $5 per pound, so give me $50. But really they'd give you 8 pounds and they'd say, this is 10 pounds. They would sell you milk, but they would mix water with it and say, here's two gallons of milk for you. And on top of that, they did something else. They used to tax people. They used to tax travelers that went through their town. And to the people of Madian, we sent their brother, Shu'aib. The people who used to worship that huge tree known as al Aika, they have belied all the messengers. He told his people, first things first, worship Allah alone, you don't have a deity besides Allah. Fulfill the measure properly and the weight. Do not shortchange the people, neither in the volume nor in the weight. And do not cause corruption on earth or do not spoil what has already been decided and confirmed and rectified. That which remains after you have given people their due is far better for you than to eat that which belongs to others. Do not sit on every path threatening and hindering those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you want them to bend the rules so that they must adopt your whims and fancies. Remember when you were very small in number and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted you multiplication. You are definitely foolish. Why was he foolish? Why don't you think of doing a deal or two with us? We'll make you rich. Why don't you join our circle? You'd better stop saying what you are saying. It's not worth it. You are such a fool. 
in life you want to suffer yet you have got a little bit of wealth join it with ours we will multiply it for you you don't know business we know business you stick to your religion we know everything about the world he told them Oh my people, don't you see that I have come with clear signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah has blessed me with such pure wealth. Should I still contaminate it by joining it with yours? I might have less than you, but I've got pure wealth. Allah has blessed me with sustenance. I don't ask you to pay me. I don't ask you any monetary favors. I am conveying to you the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I will not stop doing this because it is my duty. And if you think that your wealth allows you to make me stop, then you are wrong. I have come to you with clear signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They told him, You are just a human being like us. What virtue do you have over us? And over and above that, you're a liar. There is something ulterior that you want by this preaching of yours. You probably want to become richer than all of us. So silently you want to preach and at the same time you're using that as a front and you want to earn, you want to make a lot of money. My aim and my mission, I do not want to go against what I have prohibited you from. Which means if I have prohibited you from something, you will not find me engaging in that prohibition. In uridu illa al-islaha mastata'tu. My intention is to do as much goodness as possible. Wa ma tawfiqi illa billah. My tawfiq is only from Allah. Come and follow this path. Follow the path of Islam. Follow the path in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows you which good. Come and pray with me. Come and follow my guidance. Ya Shu'aibu asalatuka ta'muruka an natruka ma ya'budu aba'una aw an naf'ala fi amwalina ma nasha'a innaka la anta al-halimu al-rashid O Shu'aib This prayer that you order us to follow you with do you expect us to leave the worship and the path of our forefathers? And you expect us also to do what your God wants us to do with our wealth? And then they start to mock him. No doubt that you really think you're a smart and wise man. You want us to do what your God wants us to do with our wealth? This is something that we don't accept. And what is even religion when it comes to business business is business religion is religion so to them religion has nothing to do with what with business prophet shuaib said to them no hold on your lord is the one who's saying it i'm not the one who's saying it وَيَا قَوْمِ لَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شِقَاقِي أَنْ يُصِيبَكُمْ مِثْلُ مَا أَصَابَ قَوْمَ نُوحٍ أَوْ قَوْمَ هُودٍ أَوْ قَوْمَ صَالِحٍ وَمَا قَوْمُ لُوطٍ مِنْكُمْ بِبَعِيدٍ O oh my people, the fact that you hate me so much, your hatred for me should not lead you to receiving the punishment that came to the people of Nuh, the people of Ad, the people of Thamud, and the people of Lut who are very nearby. So you might dislike me, but that must not mislead you from the right path. Concentrate on what I'm saying. Remember, it is Allah that you are fighting, not me. Oh, my people, seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Turn and repent to Allah before it is too late. Inna Rabbi Rahimu Wadud. Shu'aib alayhi salam describes Allah as the one who is most merciful Full of love. Allahu Akbar. قَالُوا يَا شُعَيْبُ مَا نَفْقَهُ كَثِيرًا مِمَّا تَقُولُ وَإِنَّا لَنَرَاكَ فِينَا ضَعِيفًا وَلَوْ لَا رَهْطُكَ لَرَجَمْنَاكَ وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْنَا بِعَزِيزٍ Oh listen here Shuaib. You continue to speak to us and we're not understanding. We don't even want to understand what you're talking to us about. We don't want to understand these new things that you brought to us. And we see you as weak within us. 
Don't think you're tough and strong among us. Don't think we fear you. We're not going to understand what you're trying to preach to us. Sir. Don't bother. And if not because of your clan and your own people who would have stoned you to death. And guess what? To us, you are not even a man of respect. We don't have no respect for you, Shoaib. Then he responded to them, Oh, my people, it's my clan and my own people are more respectful to you than Allah. And you've neglected what he is telling you, what he informed you, the rituals, the morality, the way of life, the way that you're supposed to live your life. He's teaching you your own lifestyle. You don't want to listen to that. And you're holding on to my family that you care about them more than Allah. Verily, whatever you do doing, Allah is over you. He's watching everything that you're doing. If you've denied me, I have my own way, which is to obey Allah and never disobey Him. If you want to carry on with what you're doing, that is your own business. You will see who will receive the punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who is a liar. And you wait, and I'm waiting with you. قال الملأ الذين استكبروا من قومه لنخرجنك يا شعيب والذين آمنوا معك من قريتنا أو لتعودن في ملتنا The haughty They threatened Shu'aib and those who believed They said we will kick you out of our community You and those who have followed you We shall ban you from this place Unless you return to us on our terms And follow again whatever we command Whatever we instruct That is when we will be happy with you And we will bring you back And that is when we will allow you to live in our midst And that is when we will open the doors for you You want us to come back even against our own will Even though you are thinking you, you can get us there by force No you won't قَدْ إِفْتَرَيْنَا عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا إِنْ عُدْنَا فِي مِلَّتِكُمْ بَعْدَ إِذْ نَجَّانَ اللَّهُ مِنْهَا We would have uttered an, a clear fabrication against Allah and gone against Allah's command and law if we had to come back to all that which you are believing in and your terms and your conditions after Allah has saved us from such filth. They said, if you think you are the messenger of God, okay, just ask your God to punish us. Tell him to cut a piece of sky and drop it on us. Then he made a dua. Now it was enough. Oh Allah, judge between us and our people. in the proper correct manner with justice for you are indeed the most just of all so allah judged between them and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them such a severe punishment this punishment my brothers and sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it a suffocating hot weather on the people of madian it's like there was no air within the city of madian the people of madian were suffocating from the lack of air From the heat, for days and days they went through that very dry, hot weather. They were suffocating, it's like they are burning in hell. After that, they saw a cloud, one massive cloud with a shade under it. They saw it from far, they said, this is where we could get our protection from. They saw this shade under this great cloud and they all ran under it. Little they knew. That that cloud was the punishment of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shook the ground under them. It came a severe earthquake. وَأَخَذَتِ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا الصَّيْحَةُ فَأَصْبَحُوا فِي دِيَارِهِمْ جَاثِمِينَ After that, the awful cry overtook them. كَأَن لَمْ يَغْنَوْا فِيهَا As though they didn't even live in their dwellings. They died there on the spot. And what happened to their wealth? It was still lying there. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ قَوْمِهِ لَإِنِ اتَّبَعْتُمْ شُعِيبًا إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا لَخَاسِرُونَ The disbelievers from that community used to say, if you follow Shu'aib, then you will be from amongst the losers. الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا شُعِيبًا كَأَلَّمْ يَغْنَوْ فِيهَا 
الذين كذبوا شعيبا كانوا هم الخاسرين those who belied شعيب were the ones who were destroyed in such a way that it felt as though they didn't even dwell in their dwellings and the ones who belied شعيب were the ones who were the losers and not the ones who were with شعيب they were the winners شعيب عليه السلام went back to Madian يا قوم لقد أبلغتكم رسالات ربي ونصحت لكم فكيف آسى على قوم كافرين Oh my people didn't I deliver the message and the reminders and the warnings to you but nay how do you now expect me to feel sorry or to feel any form of pity for those who belied and those who denied ألا بعدا لمدين كما بعد الثمود. Indeed, we got rid of the people of Madian in the similar way that we got rid of the people of Thamud. We got rid of them. These stories for us to reflect. These stories for us to contemplate and think, not just to entertain ourselves with. Think of the story of Shu'aib. Until we meet again, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallahi bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.